Hello kiddos. Our lesson for today is on the Tower of Babel and that comes from Genesis 11 verses 1 through 9 and here is the story. After the great flood all of the people who lived in the world spoke the same language. People who lived in various places could get together and everyone could understand what everyone else was saying. They could make plans or talk about the new world they lived in. They could talk about the great flood, that their ancestors survived, and the big ark Noah had built. They could talk about anything. Apparently that was fine with God until one group of men had an idea. Let's make bricks and bake them in ovens. That will make them strong enough that we can use them to build buildings. Before this new idea, buildings were made of stone. These men wanted to make buildings that were made of bricks that stacked on top of each other and were held together with mortar. Everyone thought that this was a great idea, so the men began making bricks and building the new city. They talked about their city as they worked. They planned what buildings they would make. As they were talking, someone had another idea. Why don't we build a tower in our city that reaches all the way up into the heavens, he said. It will be the tallest building ever. All the other men thought this was a great idea. We will be famous for our tall building, someone said. We will be so famous that no one will ever try to break us up or make us move to other cities. We will be powerful and will stay together here in our city because of our famous tower. The men did not ask God about their plan. Maybe they didn't even care how he would feel about it. They should have known that God would not be happy about it. He did not like that the men were making plans of their own. God looked at the city and the very tall tower they were building. God was not happy with what he saw. The problem is that these men all speak the same language, so nothing is impossible for them, God said. They are building this tall tower now, but next they will be able to do anything that they try. God knew he had to stop these men. He could not have them thinking they were more powerful than he is. God had a simple plan to stop the men. He made everyone begin speaking different languages. Men who one day could understand everything others said could not even talk to each other the next day. No one knew what anyone else was saying. Now they couldn't make plans. They couldn't even finish building all their tall towers. God, Then God did just what the men had tried to prevent. He scattered them over all the earth. They all moved to different places. The place where the men had started building the tall tower was called Babel because God confused their language there. They were babbling. And now the unfinished tower was called the Tower of Babel. That's our story for today. Uh, tune in tomorrow, and we will have the next story. We'll be starting with the man named Abram. See you then.